we've had land loss and the risks have increased to our safety, uh, we've had people who have moved about. Our cultural richness and our community of, of being a close uh, family networked community has now been under attack. We've got to recreate a self-sustaining coast. We know how to do it. It doesn't take rocket science. All we've got to do is get out there, mimic Mother Nature, and have the will. The Corps of Engineers has partnered with a number of agencies and local governments to involve the public in the planning of wetlands restoration in and around the areas affected by the MRGO. The Mississippi River Gulf Outlet was authorized by Congress in 1956 to provide a safer and more efficient navigation route from the Port of New Orleans to the Gulf of Mexico. Construction of the channel began in 1958 and was completed in 1968. It was used for shallow draft and deep draft vessels carrying a wide variety of commodities. We've recognized the impacts that the channel had to wetlands in the estuaries around Lake Bourne and Lake Pontchartrain and we're putting together an ecosystem restoration plan that will fix some of those areas. After Hurricane Katrina, uh, the Corps of Engineers prepared a plan for Congress that they approved, uh, enabling us to build a rock closure across the ship channel uh, in the area that's known as Bayou Lelutra, near the community of Hopedale. The closure of Mr. Go was constructed during the summer of 2009. It cut off that salt water that has been coming here and progressively eating away at our marshes. Once that happened, the salinities almost overnight started to reverse. We've seen salinities change in two to four parts per thousand immediately above the Bayou Lelutra, that old natural ridge that's, that's restored. The barrier that is further up the MRGO, that, that crosses both the MRGO and the GIWW, uh, that is a magnificent structure. Uh, it, it, puts, it puts us on the civil works map for the world. Uh, and those two structures together, uh, I think, are very real beginnings that arrest the damage that the MRGO created uh, and now put us in a position to make sure that the follow-up is done. The area affected by the MRGO, the study area, is about 3.8 million acres. MRGO Ecosystem Restoration Planning is focused on six major areas. The East Orleans Land Bridge, the Central Wetlands, the Golden Triangle, the South Lake Bourne area, the Biloxi marshes, and marshes around Bayou Taraba. The East Orleans Land Bridge is a major focus for this project because it provides the only barrier separating Lake Pontchartrain and Lake Bourne. It is important to maintain this barrier so that Lake Pontchartrain remains a brackish habitat and provides a natural buffer against storm surges entering the lake. In addition, the East Orleans Land Bridge supports Highway 90, an important secondary evacuation route out of New Orleans. To combat erosion issues, the MRGO feasibility study is considering foreshore protection to reduce further erosion and the placement of dredge material and planting of marsh vegetation to enhance the existing wetlands. The central wetlands are also a major focus for this effort. These wetlands are located adjacent to the communities in Orleans and St. Bernard Parish and were historically fresh and intermediate marshes and cypress forests. Cypress in particular is a valuable habitat for wildlife and birds. It also provides a wind buffer for surrounding communities and it's a beautiful area uh, adjacent to a neighborhood here that, uh, that is trying to recover from the impacts of Hurricane Katrina. The Golden Triangle is bounded by the MRGO, the Gulf Intercoastal Waterway, and Lake Bourne. The IHNC surge barrier is under construction across the Golden Triangle. Restoring marsh adjacent to the surge barrier is important to maintain and provide a buffer between the lake and the structure. Restoration alternatives in the area include placing dredge material to build marshes and planting marsh vegetation. The South Lake Bourne area consists of the marshes between the old MRGO channel and Lake Bourne. Protecting and restoring these wetlands will prevent these two bodies of water from merging. Proctor Point, the landmass separating the two lobes of Lake Bourne, is a key area in need of restoration. Alternatives under consideration in South Lake Bourne include dredged material placement to build marsh, foreshore protection, and freshwater introduction. 
The Biloxi Marsh is recognized as a critical landscape feature that reduces storm surge. It is the only buffer between Lake Bourne and the Gulf of Mexico. It is vulnerable to high energy waves. Protecting the shoreline of the Biloxi Marsh is needed to address wave-driven erosion. Other restoration features being evaluated for the area include restoring the Bayou Lelutra Ridge and placing dredge material to repair broken marsh areas. Bayou Terra Buff runs along the community of Delacroix Island. There has been extensive degradation of the marsh in this area. Restoration of these marshes would provide quality nursery habitat for fisheries and a natural storm buffer to Delacroix, Wyklosky, and Hopedale. As part of the Mr. Go Ecosystem Restoration Plan, we've targeted the introduction of fresh water from the Mississippi River near the community of Violet so that water will move from the river into the wetlands in St. Bernard Parish and Orleans Parish. Moving water from the river into the estuary will help lower the salinities in the estuary, combating the intrusion of salt water from the Gulf of Mexico. There will be changes with salinities, with fishing grounds. Uh, if you're, whether you're a recreational fisher or a commercial fisher, you probably have to have a longer uh, boat ride to go to the areas that are most productive or, or where the bigger catchers are. But that, I would suggest, is a very small price to pay to make this region sustainable for the foreseeable future. We're starting to mimic Mother Nature. Given time, Mother Nature's gonna cure itself. Hurricane protection system and, and building levees is only one part of our protection system. Uh, the, the restoration of our coast, uh, replanting cypress forests, uh, making sure that our land bridges and ridges that once existed are redeveloped, and protecting those uh, with the natural barriers that once existed uh, is essential to our survival.